Well, what'd you have for lunch? Our family is like a puzzle where we're each a, a separate piece that fits together to make a beautiful picture. Getting to do this transplant here yeah. means that I can pick my kids up off the bus, that I can do activities with them after school, that I can uh, find out how their day went, provide them the support that they need as they're growing up, right, through this very prolonged process. It's important to me because it helps me heal and it's important to them because it helps them grow. And it came out of nowhere. I was, I was flying home from, from a business trip and I got off the plane and even before I walked in the house, I got off the Uber and, and, and I had to tell Jennifer, you need to take me to the emergency clinic right now. Like something, something's wrong. I got the flu or something. He came into the hospital. He was not feeling well. He was having some symptoms. Uh, we did blood work on him and uh, we found him to have abnormal blood counts and that led to the diagnosis uh, he was diagnosed with uh, a disease called acute lymphoblastic leukemia. He had a very aggressive type of leukemia that needs a bone marrow transplant pretty much any time that it's diagnosed. Here we go. If there isn't a sibling who's matched in the family, then our first step is to look for someone who's unrelated who might potentially be matched. Fortunately, nowadays, there is a large registry that we work through the National Marrow Donor Program, and they help us identify ind individuals throughout the world. In years past, we would refer patients to transplant programs in other cities to get transplanted. And the three cities in Texas that have transplant programs previously were San Antonio, Houston, and Dallas. So the expectation would be that patients would move to these cities live there typically for at least three to four months with their family if they were going to get a transplant. You can imagine that's a huge life-altering step. I'll see you soon, okay? Okay. Now we can do everything right at home where patients have their social support. They can stay at home while they're going through the procedure and do their follow-up care here, right here in Austin, and get all the specialty care. Three, let's try to count down two. One, that's it, they're in. Previously they couldn't, so I think it's, it's a huge step in establishing St. David's as a center of uh, excellence for blood cancers. Pass this down. The fact that I get to, to continue being with my family, providing for them and uh, them giving to me everything they give, which I'm the luckiest guy in the world, but, but uh, the fact that that can happen, that's what the transplant means. So what was your inspiration? I just started spiritual because I know sparkles. That's good. <laughs>